Welcome to BaseballGuys.com. I'm your host, Around the Horn, Ray Flowers. No, it's been a while since I spoke to you, but since I haven't written much about the awards that were just handed out in Major League Baseball, I thought I would run through a quick little video and give a few of my thoughts on the major award. First of all, we got the NLMEP. Not a surprise at all. Buster Posey um, wins the award. 27 first place votes, only three for Ryan Braun. I would put it this way. Ryan Braun had a better offensive season, but Buster Posey had a better overall season. He's a catcher, a strong defensive player. That obviously trumps the outfield player, Braun. I want to point out here at the beginning as well that all these awards were voted on prior to the start of postseason play. So nothing that happened after the regular season was over affects the voting here. Buster Posey, a solid choice. I am surprised by the margin of victory. Well, that's a running theme for tonight's discussion. But a very good season for the Giants catcher. AL MVP. Boy, was there a lot of back and forth with this. Would it be Miguel Cabrera, the 16th Triple Crown winner in the history of baseball? Or would it be Mike Trout coming off the greatest rookie season in the history of the game? And if I'm not mistaken, the first 325 season with 30 home runs, 80 RBI, 125 runs scored, and 45 fields in the history of baseball. I got a lot of flack. I got labeled as a Mike Trout hater, all these kind of things. Twitter fights all over the place. So I'm going to clarify my position on, on Trout in a second here. But the winner, as we all know at this point, was Miguel Cabrera. Again, that triple crown uh, win obviously played a huge part in the voters' minds. History has shown that if you leave the league in home runs and RBI, you're very, you're very more, you're, let me try this in proper English, you're much more likely to win the MVP award if you leave those two categories than anything else. Traditionally, voters have tended to favor that award based on those two categories. Now, Mike Trout, I don't hate Mike Trout. I think Mike Trout's a phenomenal baseball player. Kyle Ulfrink and I, who exposed uh, the drive on Sirius XM Fantasy Sports Radio, we interviewed Mike Trout last year at the Arizona Fall League at the Rising Star game before he's done anything at the big league level. I am not against Mike Trout at all. All I've pointed out are the numbers and the stats, and my belief that heading into 2013, Mike Trout has zero chance of repeating what he did this season. More of that to follow at BaseballGuys.com. I'll continue to write about that. Again, not taking anything away from him. The biggest surprise to me, though, in this voting, 22 votes for Cabrera, 6 for Trout. After all the debate back and forth on Twitter and in the fantasy world, shock, again, to see such a disparity in first place votes. NL signing award, I am befuddled here. I know what happened. A couple of things happened. Number one, R.A. Dickey, who won this award over Clayton Kershaw. Won the award because he's 38 years old and he throws a knuckleball. It's a great story. He doesn't have a UCL on his elbow. He almost retired from baseball. He's kind of like, it's a phenomenal story. And everyone says that Ari Dickey is a tremendous person. He also won this award because he pitches in New York. That's the way it is, folks. You can call me a West Coast guy. It's true. I hate the Dodgers, so I'm not an apologist for Clayton Kershaw. But the fact of the matter is, Clayton Kershaw had a better ERA, a better whip, a better strikeout per nine mark. He hit a lot fewer hits per nine innings had a better batting average against. You can also obviously come up uh, uh, with you know numbers that favor uh, Dickey. He won more games. He won 20. He pitched a few more innings. He had more complete games. You can make an argument for Dickey. I would still have favored Kershaw. But the fact that the voting was 27 votes for Dickey and two for Kershaw in first place is absolutely ridiculous. It's preposterous. The story won out over the reality of what occurred on the field in 2012. AL Signing Award. Should have been Verlander. The winner was Price. Verlander came in second. Weaver came in third. Now, you can make a very valid case for either Price or Verlander, so I'm not really going to quibble with that vote. I, again, would have had those guys flip flop. What I want to comment on here is the fact that the two riders that voted on the AL Sign Award from Anaheim, guess what they did? They both put Jared Weaver second. No one else had Jared Weaver second, but those two voters from Anaheim will get to a few more odd voting things here uh, at the end of the season here. Weaver should have been third. He didn't get the two in an inning pitch. He had one of the highest run support marks in all of baseball. He had a great season, but he clearly was the number three option for that award. Uh, the rookie of the year, real quick. Bryce Harper won the National League award over Wade Miley. Everyone expected that. 112 to 105 was the voting. Much closer than a lot of people thought. Um, both these players will be reviewed in the offseason at baseballguys.com. Wade Miley, obviously the best rookie pitcher in the National League. The American League Rookie of the Year, well, it's Mike Trout. They, well, we all knew that was going to happen. The eighth unanimous Rookie of the Year in the American League in the history of the award. Uh, it, was happened, it happened recently. Uh, Evan Longoria in 2008 was the last guy to do that there. A few notes here uh, on the oddities of voting. And I was, there's a link here in this video below it. 
uh, to the Baseball Writers Association of America, their website, the rules for voting, all that kind of thing, so you can get a handle on, on how this occurs. The bottom line is there are people voting for this award that don't know what the hell they're doing. I'm sorry to say it, but it's the truth. Matt Harrison got two fifth place awards, uh, two fifth place votes in the AL Cy Young. Really? Chipper Jones got a tenth place vote, obviously because it was the last season of the career, but that's foolish. He didn't deserve it. Alfonso Soriano got a sixth place vote for the NL MVP. Now, he had a great season. He helped me out in a lot of fantasy clubs. He made me look really smart for suggesting that people would pick him up in 2012. But a sixth place vote? Come on. And then finally, Raul Abania has got a tenth place vote in the American League MVP award. Uh, that, that's shameful. That guy should have his voting privileges revoked. So again, that's my look at the awards for the 2012 Major League Baseball season. Congrats to the San Francisco Giants. Had a nice chance to say that on video. Second time in three years as a world champion. 2012 season is over, but at BaseballGuys.com, we keep pushing forward. We keep making it happen. Come visit every day for some new and interesting information on the world of baseball. I'm Ray Flowers. It is BaseballGuys.com. Thanks for joining me on Around the Horn. Talk to you all again soon.